What's up guys, this is Mia Sin back at it with another OCG live reaction match video. Last time I did it a few days ago, you guys seemed to absolutely enjoy it. And I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot from doing that. I will keep doing even more of these uh, reactions to these OCG matches because obviously what uh, what is relevant for the OCG is also very relevant for us. So this time we've got Malice against Rescue Ace. Malice is obviously a deck that is known to play a lot of hand shops. So we're seeing 3 Ash, 3 Jewel, 3 Valor, an Ogre, 3 Bestials, and 3 Imperm as well as obviously 2 Maxi. So that's 8, 11, 12... 15, 18 hand shops and two called by and a cross out. So that's 21 non engine with, I believe, 12 starters. Hold on a second. Three white rabbit, three dormouse. So that's six, three field spells, two gold sark, and a sign and mining. 12 starters. That's like an 84 point something percent chance of having a one card combo. And you can also draw like Shashir Cat and Abyssal. And that still generates you, you know, your three bodies on the field that you can go into like the white binder, for example, set a trap card, and that still gets you to playing the game, which is really important. There's a lot of uh, cool ways ways of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in Malice, you don't always have to draw your one-card starters. Rescue Ace is also a deck that kind of has consistency issues, but there is a lot of interesting ways to bridge into your engine. So there is the uh, Fiendsmith engine, and then there is Azamina, obviously the Snake Eyes. 40 cards, you know, even in the TCG, like, if you were playing, like, two less engines than this, like, without the Azamina and potentially even without the Fiendsmith, people still struggle to play 40. They were playing, like, 42, 43, 44 in Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace has always been kind of like a pile deck. But that is completely absurd. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, who is going to be winning the dice roll? Okay, so the Malice player just rolled a 3 and the Rescue Ace player rolled a 5. I really hope that uh, Malice draws the hand shops to stop Rescue Ace, otherwise this is going to be a little rough. I don't think the deck is particularly good at beating 5 back row. You gotta be kidding me, you're only setting what There you go, okay, yeah, so... Uh, that is, um, that's exactly what the Malice player wants. Actually, Underground... The field spell is the worst starter, by the way, in the deck, because if you draw the field spell, then when you go into your red ransom, it only searches the field spell, so it's not like it really makes you extend. He gets max seed, he ashes the max seed, and then he gets caught by the grave on the ash. That is insane. So the max seed does resolve. Special summons the Shashir Cat, which means that he obviously has to have like a Dormouse or White Rabbit in hand. Effect, banish the Dormouse, to draw two cards, and then effect of Dormouse, revive itself back. That could be a quick game if he accepts the max seed challenge. Let's see. Okay, so revive back, and then Maxi is going to be drawing another card. Okay, and then... Oh my god, he's going to draw himself again! This is not the first time I've seen this. OCG players really love drooling themselves because obviously there's eight Maxis running around, so drool is kind of like a better card because of that. Which is another reason why the Mulchami cards, maybe they're losing a little bit in popularity. Anyways, White Rabbit sets the one that revives back from the graveyard or banished, which is relevant. Links into Link Decoder. Link all three into Hearts of Cryptor. There we go. Red Ransom doesn't do anything at this point. Link Decoder comes back. Set a trap card which was from the hand, uh, yeah, obviously, because the other one was set off of the White Rabbit. So this one special summons from deck, uh, so that's going to be the Dormouse, and then Hearts of Cryptor comes back. I think Hearts of Cryptor is now doubled at 5,000 attack, and again, the Rescue Ace player is not drawing anything off of this. That's nuts. All he really needs now should be 3k damage, and that's it. Splash Mage, Trans Code, Access Code, that is way more than enough to finish off the Rescue Ace player. That absolutely should be enough, unless I'm missing something, unless you randomly don't get like the 2k, like 2500 attack boost from uh, the Hearts of Cryptor, but you should. Oh, that is... Wait, oh, that's Airlifter's in a hand effect. Yeah, so special summon the Hydrant. I guess he's trying to, like, survive. Access code. It doesn't matter because I think it's a main phase only effect, something like that. Well, like, you can't respond to access code anyway, so you have to do it as, as early as possible. Uh, I think Airlifter has to be used in response to something, and it can only summon from hand. It's not, like, the um, Impulse, which summons from the deck. That's actually insane. And yeah, that's 53 and 5k. Yeah, it's already game. OTK. By only giving two draws for Maxi. And then drooling yourself so that your opponent doesn't draw into more hand shops. Very nicely played. That was uh, that was absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're back for game two. Let's just see if Rescue Ace is going to be getting a little luckier this time. Because that was a really unfortunate game one. Okay, normal summon Snake Ayash. That's pretty solid. Gets it by Effect Veiler. Do you have the cross out for it? No. Okay, so that resolves. Activate Fiendsmith Attract. Obviously, search Lori, discard Lori, go into Requiem, special summon Lacrima, send the Engraver. That's always how it is. But... No, actually, he already has the lure in the hand, so he's going to be searching Engraver. That is very unfortunate. Wait, wh what? Am I missing something? Discards the Airlifter, and then banish the Airlifter for the Preventer. That's actually a crafty way of getting just a Rescue Ace monster in the grave so that you can summon your... That's actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie. But he gets Max Seed here, and he doesn't have the Ash, the Called by, or the Cross out for the Max Seed. 
Very unfortunate. So he's going to be drawing two cards, one for the Preventer, one from the IP. Another card for the Airlifter, so that this Maxi drew three cards so far. That's ridiculous. That is unfair. That is way, way more harsh than, like, Mochimi Foros. Okay, and then and then he uses a card to, like, negate the emergency. Okay, what is this card? Yo, don't don't stress me like this. Oh my god, he's banishing two cards. He hard you the Turbulence anyways. <laughs> Hilarious. You gotta be kidding me. He just drew a purple card off of Maxi. He drew the Imperm off of the Turbulence to negate the Turbulence. That is ridiculous. My god, yo, how many draws? Bro, he's vomit. He used four cards from hand already, I think. And then he still has a full hand. Normal summon Shashir Cat. Set two cards first. Because if they're Malice Traps, you can use them right away by banishing a monster. So if your opponent goes into, like, IP into SP, banish your monster. You just chain and then you special summon another one from deck. And then you can jump over uh, SP or something. Okay, so on the summon, he's right away going to be going Apple off of the IP. Okay. It's not really good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think Mal Malice actually wins. So the Dormouse effect from the banish gets negative by apple so this apple is for two but then he chains Druid's worm because obviously apple is just once per chain so now he can just go battle phase Druid's worm attack this apple is undestructible by card effect but not by battle attack with uh the shishiri cat for an extra 15 and then main phase two is pretty much free to go mtb07 that's the one that searches from deck to hand so he's gonna be banishing shishiri cat search the white rabbit uh he already committed to his normal summon but he uh, interesting what is that gonna achieve yeah, it's just gonna be a discard fodder, really. A search Code of Soul. That is the one searchable extender that you can get off of Sided Mining, which is the reason why co people are playing uh, Code of Soul. It's not too bad. Okay, Link Off, Link Rebo, and Code of Soul into... What is that gonna be? Splash Mage, obviously, and then Splash Mage, Revive Back, White Rabbit, the effect is negated. And then Link Off into uh, Red Ransom, that searches the field spell. Okay, I, I think I can see where this is going. I'm not 100% sure, but he is locked under Cybers only now, and he can't go into Transcode because Splash Mage locks you under only being able to special summon Cybers for the rest of the turn, whereas Transcode is the, the whole turn you use this effect. You can't special summon any non cybers monsters. Uh, but yeah, okay, so he's banishing the Dormouse there. Well, actually, com comes back with the, the MTB07 or something, the one that special summons from the deck. And then he's banishing the Dollscaper off of the effect of Red Ransom. When he gets banished, it comes back. And then he's going to be making a White Binder. White Binder could set a trap card now, and then obviously uh, on summon, it gets to banish up to three cards from any player's graveyards. So he can banish his own Dormouse that never used this effect so far. Gonna be banishing his Trap as well as the White Rabbit. And he's gonna be banishing the Tract. Okay, sure. Unless I'm missing something. And then the White Rabbit comes back. That, that never used this effect. That's, that's true. Yeah, so it was the perfect card to search and then this card. Very nicely played. Yeah, th this deck has like a, like a non-existent margin of error. And then he sets the Monstry Born. White Binder sets the one that searches from deck to hand. And then Link Summon into Firewall Dragon. Activate the Field Spell. That is going to be banishing the White Binder from the grave. And then White Binder comes back. So it is Special Summon to the zone the Firewall points to. And then draws you one card. And then Firewall can use this effect Recycle Back. No way, it can Recycle Back two hand shafts. That's true. Oh my god. Bro, he has five freaking cards on field. Five cards in hand. And he's still playing. Link into Terror Hurts using three monsters. And then set a back row. That's three to four cards in hand. Okay, Firewall Terror Hurts. Send the, the Zav Worm. That was... Oh yeah, that's that was all on main phase too. Yeah, Maxi's of course on standby phase for the maximum disrespect. <laughs> Normal summon Snake Eye Populous. This game is freaking over. There is no way you can recover from this. This is like infinite interruptions. There is a banish off of the one that searches from deck to hand, the trap card. And then another banish off of the Hearts of Cryptor, if he has it. Yeah, and then there's Terra Hertz that can send Aggregator or Quantum. And then there's obviously the Cybers, the Zav Worm. So yeah, that's that's a banish, uh, a negate, and either a negate or like a place back that's completely unmanageable. And he can get like so much value here. He can set another trap with a White Rabbit. He can surge the field spell with a Red Ransom. And yeah, there are no more targets for him at this point to set with a White Rabbit. So that is a little unfortunate. Nah, no, you gotta play it out, huh? Oh, okay. We're gonna be seeing the Graveyard effect of Kodos Soul. So quick link into uh, in your opponent's turn. Into the Hearts of Cryptor. Because he never summoned Hearts of Cryptor on the opponent's turn. So that makes a lot of sense. The Firewall Dragon, when it's used up, it doesn't do anything. So you might as well get rid of it and summon something that actually banishes a card your opponent controls. So that's an extra interruption. This deck is very layered. It's it has a lot of graveyard effects, a lot of interactions, obviously from the hand, a lot of hand shops that you can play. And yeah, this the, yeah this game is over. Indeed, there is absolutely nothing that you can do. He's gonna chain magical hats, <laughs> special summon the card from the spell and trap zone, survive, but not really. Yeah, that was uh, that was nicely played. 
But yeah, that this really just shows that Malice is a deck that you gotta be scared of, man. This deck, it just has all the card advantage in the world. Raziel doesn't have the same level of card advantage. I have seen a lot of games featuring the Raziel deck, and it's really just not on the same level. Uh, but we're gonna be seeing... <laughs> was that a middle finger? <laughs> I think that's gonna be a third game that it, they're just gonna be playing for fun. I, I guess, yeah, you know, it might as well make it like a best out of five. Instead of best out of three, it's just, uh, this was like a way too convenient to O, right? So we got to see a little bit more Malice and a little bit more Rescue Ace, hopefully. That would be really nice. So Rescue Ace should be going first again. No, actually, no, never mind. That's interesting because Rescue Ace lost, like, for the second time in a row and Malice is going first. I, I feel really bad for this Rescue Ace player. I don't think he can beat Malice going second. Malice, if it doesn't brick, going first, it is the scariest deck out there. It is, it's weird, it's a weird deck. It's not really a combo deck, but it has the nastiest, most explosive combos. Anyways, that's the MTB, so that's the one that special summons from deck. There we go, so banish the Dormouse, special summon the Shishir Cat, if I recall, there we go. And then Dormouse comes back, yes, so now he has three bodies, and the only one that never used its effects so far should be the Shishir Cat. Yeah, it was just special summon like two seconds ago. So yeah, go into Red Ransom, get back the Link Decoder, and then Red Ransom, search the field spell. All of that off of just, like, one card. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, again, like, he has four cards in hand, and he's gonna be getting even more cards because of, like, Firewall, the draw two from Shashir Cat. It never ends. It absolutely never ends. That should be a Splash Mage. There's nothing else that he can really summon. Oh, that's an Appaloosa. Yeah, that really that really shows how explosive the deck is in the OCG because even if you have Nibiru, then I guess their one-card combo still can kind of beat Nibiru. Banish the Red Ransom, and then it comes back. It banishes the Dotscaper, so that also is revived back. Now that should be the Splash Mage. Okay, no. <laughs> he has more cards from Hand Sided Mining. This card search the Code of Soul, most likely. There you go. It's the only extender from the hand. This might be a white binder, maybe? I'm not sure. Splash Mage into white binder? I have no idea. Oh, or maybe, hold on a second. Yeah? I have no idea. Yeah, okay, sure. So that, yeah, that sets the trap card that is a monster reborn, potentially. Yeah, so it vanishes the trap and the Shishiri Cat. Shishiri Cat comes back. Oh my god. I, I think I can see where this is going. Yeah, he's still gonna go into a Firewall line. Yo, actually, I, when I think about it, he can make a Firewall cooling to three monsters and then recycle back three cards. That's even better. Okay, so he's gonna make a Terra Hertz right away and then he has the Monster Reborn anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then Terra Hertz effect on his turn, send the Cybers the Zavworm. All of that was like pretty safe from, from Nibiru because at any moment, if you get nibbed, you don't really lose anything other than the Apple because Apple is just like the resources that you needed to like get to it anyways. Last card in hand, Veiler, of course, must be nice. Cross out for the Veiler. Okay, sure. Yeah, you, you could even Cybers Dazavorm with this if you really want to, but he has an Imperm anyway, so might as well. So just so that you can keep your Cybers Dazavorm for cards like, a, I don't know, Triple Tactic Talon, for example, like non-engine cards that might be annoying because, you know, Talon, Stealing, the Appaloosa, that could be a little frustrating. Okay, so Appaloosa negates the Luri, and then Bonfire will be searching the Populace. You can just... Okay, no, it doesn't search Lacrima. It really just searches one monster, that's it. There's no other target, yeah. There, there's two Pyro monsters in the Rescu Rescue Ace deck, there's no Oak. Even if it was like Fire King, it still would have only had two targets. Okay, so this also gets negated by Apple. it stays in your hand, it doesn't go to the grave. This Apple has zero attack, but you actually can't run over if there's a Malice monster. There we go, exactly. They're showing this because this is relevant. If you have a Malice Link monster on your field, your opponent cannot declare an attack over anything other than your Malice Links. So, I, it's funny, I, I don't read Japanese, but I, I think I can understand the context and why they're talking about this. Because he is entering battle phase, and he's going, you know what? Start step a battle phase, revive back the White Binder. Notice as he, uh, how he's at 8,500 life points, by the way. The Malice deck, even though it has some issues with time because it pays life points, you can also win in time because you gain back life points using the GWC whatever, the Monster Reborn card. But yeah, now he's going to be reviving back the White Binder. White Binder uh, banishes the Shishi uh, sorry, the White Rabbit and the Red Ransom. Red Ransom searches the Field Spell and banishes maybe like a Dormouse or whatever. And then White Rabbit is going to be searching the the one that searches from deck to hand and also banishes GWC. Always so confused with the codes. It's just so annoying. But I know exactly what like what their effects is and how they really function. Yeah, okay. So he's going to get maxied now. Wait, what? I am so confused. Hold on a second. How? There are so many cards that like special summon there. So why did you not maxi before? Okay, Aggregator effect. Wait, what? No, oh, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, it, it didn't matter. Yeah, that's his turn. So yeah, that's just an OTK again. 
Yeah, that's a freaking 3-0. There's nothing you can do. Oh my, it's so... It's really painful. Yeah, rescuees just got 3-0'd. Yeah, n not a single rescuees trap was used in three games. Because obviously in game three, rescuees had to go second, so that's even worse. Rescuees bricked on game one. And game two, quadruple hand trapped. <laughs> very unfortunate. But still, nice showcase of the Malice deck, though, at the very least. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.